At the bottom right of the map, the Protoss player from Team Liquid. He needs to win this match. This is Liquid Hero. Get it really, really hard time in this tournament already. He needs a win, and his opponent is none other than the Blue Terran starting at the top of that map. He is the player from Incredible Miracle. It is. I am MVP. MVP, quite the traveler. Obviously, winning um, WCG 2011. I actually mentioned that several times earlier, but for those just turning in and who didn't watch WCG, he was able to win that one against the Chinese player Shigua in the finals. Hero, they, quite the traveler as well, though, I have to say. Yeah, exactly. They, for example, faced each other at MLG two times in best of threes, and MVP was able to decide both of these best of threes in his favor, once with 2-0 and the other time with 2-2-1. Uh, it's actually kind of interesting to note that they played that map as well. That map was also decided in MVP's favor the last time they played, so we'll see if Hero is able to turn things around and uh, defeat MVP. He has quite a nice record in this particular matchup, but MVP, he is just one of the best players in the world. He's MVP, man. Yeah, he's MVP. That's His all he has to say. is quite legend. Double yeah, barracks. He's actually going to two racks here. This is really interesting. And actually, Hero is going for Nexus first. This is going to work out quite well for MVP. and. The probe's gonna leave for here. He's gonna think it's a one barracks expand. If he doesn't check to see if the orbital is made immediately, he's not gonna know 100% if that was a two barracks or not. He actually does not see the second barracks, didn't check to see the orbital timing. He's not gonna know, man. He's going for the orbital right now, but oh. he's blocking that spot. And there's oh, another wow. barracks being built. He's going for a triple barracks play. MVP is going for a straight out all in attack against Hero and with a with the Nexus first and no scouting information whatsoever. That might be this is going to be really, really tough well, for Hero to defend this against. This is a very specific all in guys. Yes. This is the supply drop all in. And he's oh, gonna be God. able to lift his barracks and land them yes. on the low ground for faster rallying. The only thing that Hero has going for him right now is that it's cross positions and the SCV scouts. The SCV is actually doing a dance right now because it's like, wow, he went Nexus first. This could be a free win. The uh, probe denied scouting. Oh no, Hero is in so much trouble. Did he see that extra supply on that supply depot? He didn't, did he? No, I do not believe so. He wasn't even able to get up the secondary ramp. Oh. And he's placing the second barracks right next to the third. Both of them on the low ground now. And he's going for Marines, Marines, and more Marines. And. His opponent oh, is he's now skipping the second zealot, man. Yes, he's going for so many probes right now, but there's the scout with a probe, able to spot at least two of the marines. Will it be enough, though? Well, he's gonna have to chrono boost the hell out of that stalker, man. I don't know, skipping the second zealot a little bit too much of a. It's oh. it's super super greedy. Look at this, Look the SCV is being units. pulled, and it looks like Hero may be out of this tournament, guys. Five marines coming in here. He's only got one zealot. And that's without the SCVs. Yep, exactly. We have so many Marines already. He has 11 Marines against one Stalker and one Zealot. Two gates are being built right now, but MVP arrives at the vicinity of his opponent's base. He's heading straight for the main base now, attacking with the SCVs and Marines alike. And this looks so bad for Hero. Bunker being built. The Protoss pulling his probes. Can he defend against this push from MVP? It's going to be pretty tough. All of the SCVs arriving now. And that bunker is very crucial right now for MVP. The probe's not mining though for Hero. And a lot of probes already starting to go down, Kaldor. Oh, he is trying to take down the Stalkers now. The bunker is about to finish. He has nothing to fight against that bunker. And now he's taking on the probes. And the Zelets are like, look at all those SCVs trying to throw the Stalkers in the back. The first bunker is already done. He's producing more and more Marines. And the Stalkers in so much trouble. The first one is already done. The second one dies as well. MVP trapping his opponent's units and forcing the GG. Oh god, Hero. I feel so bad for him right now, but MVP with a very, very nice all-in. Yeah, MVP tends to do these all-ins in non-standard GSL. He does not do this in Code S. He does it in the Arena of Legends. He does this type of all-in when he plays. And these other tournaments like the Blizzard Cup, he just pulls these strategies out and he's like, well, you know, you didn't expect this from me, but here you go. And this supply drop all-in is so good in the sense that when you see it, no gas, you're like, oh, 
one barracks expand. If you don't check thoroughly, like Especially Hiroden, on Antigua. Yeah, if you don't check thoroughly, you're like, ah, eh, I guess he's doing <laughs> one barracks expand. I'm happy because guess what? I went next first. He's like actually a little bit excited. He's feeling like, you know, since I went next first, I've got a little economic edge over him, but actually, no, it's a three rack supply drop all in. And, well, Hero scouting was a little bit sloppy. He yeah. could have scouted that second barracks anytime. And with the knowledge about the second barracks, at least he would have a little bit of an idea what was happening and would have played maybe a little bit safer. So that was taking uh, quite a gamble. And yeah, he should have scouted behind the smoke screen. Yeah, I have to say, not scouting behind the smoke screen, especially considering how early he scouted, it wasn't even close to being a Marine coming out. I guess he considered, well, maybe he'll trap my probe in here, though, and I don't want that to happen that much. I mean, that's the only thing I consider, can consider, you know, as an opportunity for him to go, well, I should leave now. But otherwise, no, you always want to check the entire base area. You want to know if there are more barracks there. You want to make sure absolutely that your opponent is going to go for that faster command center. I have to give it to MVP, though. I kind of like it when players uh, sometimes play all-ins like that because that is just mixing it up a little bit, not just relying on the standard strategies. So props to MVP for pulling that one off. Definitely. So we're going to take a little break, guys. So don't go anywhere. We've got a lot more matches coming up next.